Japan, the number one contender. contender. Absolutely and rightly so, Bob. No and, question about it. And the number five man, Hacksaw Butch Reed, number five in the rankings of the top ten contending for that World Heavyweight Championship. What a big main event it is right here, all on television for you fans all across the country. Hacksaw Butch Reed, boy, he shows you right there while he's called Hacksaw. Those tremendous arms and those muscles of that guy. This guy, not only has he got the physique and all of it to go with it, he has got plenty of mobility, and for his man as big as he is, he can really go. Well, for a moment right there, referee right in the middle of no man's land as he got between the two. Reed now again is going to back the dragon into the corner and into the ropes. Well, I got to bring the news out again that there's Teddy Long yep. right there at ringside taking notes. This guy still has me in a quandary yep. as to what his game is. You know, for weeks now, we've seen him around yep. the ring scouting the different matches and scouting the different wrestlers. Here now with a headlock, the dragon on Reed, whipped into the ropes, off with his shoulder, and Reed just stands his oh, ground. Oh, Boy, that's oh, just made a granite. What a forearm blow. Counter two and out kicks. The Dragon. Boy, I tell you though, Lance, Reed's going to punish you. He's going to hit you, stomp you, claw you, anything he can do to you in the ring. Good slide. Beautiful drop hit from Steve He follows it with another. He gets so high in the air with all of the power behind him. Tremendous quick arm drag. Reed quickly through the ropes out of the ring. I don't blame him. That's the place to be right now. Now look at Long. He's right down there by Hacksaw Butch Reed. Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, beware. He's saying, come on in there. The Dragon wouldn't want to lose one iota of the confidence of the people, Bob. No doubt that Hacksaw Butch Reed really got the ire of the Dragon up, Steamboat. He is really now wrestling at a very high clip. His intensity level is tremendous at the moment. He ducks right under the left hand. Reed was going to take his head off. Tremendous chop here by the Dragon. Again, he ducks under it. High to the air, the atomic drop. Beautiful drop kick over the top rope. He put the big man, Hacksaw, Butch Reed, right over the top rope. And look at Reed. Greg Steamboat out on the concrete. And they're wrestling now out of the ring. They're really fighting rather than wrestling. There's the dragon slammed hard to that steel fence around the ring. Over it he goes and he comes back with a chop. This has turned into a free crawl outside of the ring. If Reed thinks he's going to intimidate the dragon, he's got another thing coming. He is giving him some funny... Oh, look at that. Slammed his head on the step. Steamboat a couple of times. Looks like he's trying to get back to the ring. The forearm smash again. Sends him reading to the floor. Here's Reed into the ring. Outside, Steamboat. You talk about mad and the intensity level now. It's to the tremendous peak. It's back to the ring. He comes in waiting on him. Right there was Reed. Neckbreaker. He's got him covered, man. One, two. And that's all he got. Boy, I'll tell you. Reed making a sensational showing. But remember, he's the number five ranked heavyweight in the, in the NWA and against the number one ranked heavyweight. That's the type of competition you would expect when you got two top ranked individuals like this together as they go at it and stand toe to toe. The chops of Steamboat, the right hands of Reed. Down the ropes goes Steamboat, trying to turn and twist out of the corner. Reed right on top of him again with that. Right hand, and there's that chop again from Steamboat. Sets him up, but misses it. Reed 
saw it coming in Duck Dundridge. He landed a powerful right hand right on the chin. The Dragon picked up, slammed down, and Reed drills him with that right fist. It is heavily taped, too, Bob. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got tape around that wrist and tape around that knuckle. Now, right to the throat with the choke. Reed just clenched that big hand of his. The tremendous power of that hand and that large, mitt-like hand right around the throat of Steamboat and put all the pressure and power on it. Here comes Steamboat back now with a chop. Gives him the ride to the ropes, and there's the foot. He was within one of being counted out by referee Tommy Young as he just blatantly was choking Steamboat. There's the cover. He's got him covered with a press, but he can only hold him again for the count of two. Referee Tommy Young said he had a shoulder about six inches up off of the mat as we hide the referee. He wanted to know why he didn't get the free count. Chin lock now. Reed again with the pressure in those tremendous arms and shoulders of his as he applies the pressure hard to Steamboat as they're on their feet near the center of the ring. They've asked no quarter and given none in this match. It's been a brawl. Absolutely. And you know, as a matter of fact, this would be very tough if you were scoring it on points, Bob. I've got to tell you, it has been give and take, as you pointed out. Our TV main event, number one contender against number five. There goes Steamboat out of the corner, leaping over the head, and he comes mm. back with a tremendous shot. Another blow to the top of the head. He was going to ride him across the ring, the reversal by Reed, but he missed it going into the corner. Good reversal coming out of Hacksaw Butch Reed, but look at Steve-O turn it. Snaps him over the shoulder and drops down. Steve-O going to the ladder. He's coming up on those turnbuckles to get Reed set up for a pressure here. All the way over the top rope. Three-fourths of the way across the ring, he comes with it. Reeling, Reed goes right to the eye, dripping and falling over the top rope. Wait a minute. Steve-O grabbed the rope and held on it and slipped back in. There again, that right hand sends it reeling over the rope. Referee Tommy Young saying it's okay. He didn't throw him over. It was his momentum that took him there, and Reed continues to play on Steamboat on the apron. It shows you the tremendous power in that right hand when you can lift the man the size of Rick Steamboat over the top rope and out of the ring with one blow, and Reed did it with the right hand all the way across the ring. Through the rope, out of the ring again, down under the floor, goes Steamboat. He's been out of the ring more than in. I think that what he's trying to do is to dishearten the dragon by bouncing him off that floor. But the dragon right back up on the apron, flailing away with Steamboat. Oh! He pushes referee Tommy Young back out of the action. Just swung the referee away, and again he pushes the referee away. As Steamboat outside, and Reed inside, Trey blows. Again, here comes Tommy Young, and again he shoves. Reed that time, swung him to the net, and the referee's going to win the bell. We'll have none of that. It's gone far enough. Look at Steamboat. He let him get away with it twice. He didn't want to stop this important match, Bob, but that third count, he threw him down. And now Tommy Young grabbed the arm of Steamboat, and Hacksaw Butch Reed, who was disqualified, took advantage of it. He sucker punched him there, no doubt. The referee had the arm of Steamboat, and Steamboat said, hey, I don't want it that way. Come on, Reed. I'll take you on. Let's wrestle some more. But the referee says the match is over, that Butch Reed has been disqualified. He shoved the referee three times, and that was certainly at least one time too many. Referee Tommy Young grabs the dragon's arm to raise it in the air in victory, and he didn't even want his arm raised. Let's take a look at what happened in there. You see Steamboat taking the tremendous force of those right hands as he's on the apron of the ring, and here's the referee now being shoved aside. Oh, boy. Threw him down, and that was enough for Tommy Young. Bob, we're going to be talking with the world TV champ coming up in just a moment. 